Hello, and welcome to Microcasting St. Louis' first episode of Explaining Weather. So, why is weather so unpredictable? Let's get right into that. First, let's take a look at the three basic things needed to make a weather forecast. Current observations, past observations, and weather models. It's impossible to predict the future. Sorry, but it is. We don't have anywhere near enough observations to be able to predict the future accurately, nor do we have the technology to take in all of those observations if we did have them. So let's take a look at all the variables that we have to go through on a daily basis. And this is nowhere near all of them. This is just a few. But you can see temperature, convective available potential energy, the heat index, rain, wind, wind chill, sleet, snow, hurricanes, hail size. It all matters. Let's dig a bit deeper into current observations. You can see that some of our best observations are from satellite and radar. They can give us a United States wide picture of rain severe storms and tornadoes but it's not quite as easy as that radar cannot detect everything because the earth has a significant curve to it from one side of the united states to the other it's enough of a curve to even within the st louis metropolitan area make tornadoes undetectable because the radar beams can't get that low it's just not possible You can see here that just taking current observations, look at all of the possible scenarios for this hurricane from weather models. Most of the reliable weather models are taking it into the United States, but one weather model takes it out to sea, being the world's most reliable weather model. Does this sound familiar? It probably does because this is the model of Hurricane Joaquin of last year. Everyone was freaking out over this United States landfall possibility. But people were actually hesitant to make this forecast because the world's most reliable model took it out to sea. It's not just a weird model. This is the best model on planet Earth, yet still, for a while, they decided to go with this. But guess what happened in the end? They were like, oh, we still don't know what's going to happen. And suddenly it went right out to sea. This is why I like this model. No matter what happens, you know this model will always have your back. And I'll say that it isn't always right. But normally it has a crowd to back it. Thank you so much for watching Microcasting St. Louis's Explaining Weather, Episode 1. I hope to see you in the next lightning-fast forecast. This is Microcasting St. Louis, signing out.